Say hello, everyone. Let me fix the ear. There you go. Somebody's sleepy. She's had a long day. Well, we thought maybe people might like to know a little bit more about Harley. So, we're going to tell a little bit about Harley. Harley has been a service dog now for maybe four years? For th more like three and a half. More like three and a half years. She's been a, an official service dog. She's just turned five. Yeah, he's talking about you. Talking about you. She's a great service dog. But actually... She's probably not going to be a service dog for too much longer because poor baby's got some health problems of her own. One being that her little legs are bowed and they cause her to have some pain in her legs if she walks around too much. So we do leg massages every night. Just to help her feel better. Yeah. But um, not only is her poor little legs bowed, but she also has horrible allergies. Horrible allergies. She actually has to take medicine for said allergies. Yes, that's your, your medicine. You've already had tonight's medicine, though. It's called Apoquil. And it's really great for um, her allergies. She gets these really bad red bumps on her belly when she gets into anything she's allergic to. She usually only has this problem in the summer because she's got like a grass allergy or a weed allergy or something like that. And she's so small that anytime she gets in the grass, it just gets all over her belly and causes her to break out real bad. Yeah, you like that. You like those massages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, as soon as the vets open back up, I'm going to have to take her in to get another allergy shot. Because unfortunately, the Apoquil alone just doesn't really do it. Her allergies are just too bad. And poor baby also has a liver problem that causes her to pee extra lots. <laughs> yes. She has to take Proin every night for that. Yeah. Because her's a little pee machine. Aren't ya? I have to pause. I'm not sure if it'll show up in here, but she's also had to have surgery twice on her belly because of a umbilical hernia. I don't know if we can see the scar. No, she's too fluffy. But poor babies had it rough, so with as wonderful as a service dog she is, it just it it's a long hours and it's really hard on her, so I'm hoping to be able to get a standard sized dog soon that's been trained by a company and be able to just retire her and let her just live out her life as the queen bee that she is. She just gets to do whatever she wants. Yeah. You would like that, wouldn't you? Getting to just lay in the bed all day. Somebody's sleepy. Say goodnight, Harley.